Hi, I'm Jeanette DePatty. And I'm Reagan Chastain, and we're the creators of the Body Love Obstacle Course. For nearly two decades, we've been teaching people to ditch those disaster diets and start loving the bodies they have right now. And we've got some amazing training videos for you. The Body Love Movement has revolutionized the way that people look at themselves and their bodies. Rather than obsessing over meeting some arbitrary, if not completely impossible, beauty standards, people are beginning to appreciate the unique and powerful bodies they already have. And the work that Reagan and I have done has revolutionized the body love movement as well. Rather than offering some vague assurances that you're beautiful, we dig a little deeper. We've helped thousands of people understand the power and the magnificence of their bodies. And we've helped people understand that the oppression they feel about their bodies is real. It's based on a society that has a warped idea of what good bodies are and what they look like. If you look at our classes and online groups like the Fit Fatties Forum, you'll see people who have stopped putting their lives on hold. People who are living in their power and belly dancing and doing parkour and running around and <laughs> amazing stuff. People who have stopped waiting to achieve perfect bodies and have gone on to live the life of their dreams in the bodies they have right now. And that's because our system goes beyond platitudes and promises. With the Body Love Obstacle Course, or BLOCK, we help you clear the obstacles that are standing in your way and keeping you from a joyful, successful, powerful life that you want. It's not just for exercise teachers or aspiring models or actresses or fashionistas. Well, I think those people are gonna find a lot to like about our class. It's also for office workers and stay-at-home moms and dads who coach Little League. It's for teachers, nurses, cashiers, and waitresses, for regular people just like you and me. People who want to move aside the blocks that are keeping them from finding success at work, love in their lives, and joy and peace within their families. That's what this video is about. Removing the barriers that make a successful, happy, and peaceful life a reality for people like us. But I've got to warn you, some of the stuff in this video is kind of intense. We've got a lot to cover and we need to move quickly. So take lots of notes. There's a free PDF on this page. You can print it out and follow along as we talk. We talk and it'll help you kind of structure your notes and get the most out of the training we're gonna give you in this video. And the training in this video is gonna cover the following stuff. One, what is the Body Love Obstacle Course or block? And what can it mean for you? Two, we're gonna talk about the two non-starter things that would stop you in your tracks and just kill your progress. And then we're gonna offer you a simple exercise that you can do to start loving your body, like right now, right this very minute. Like right now. So how do you get these amazing benefits that you want for your life? How do you get off the diet roller coaster and stop putting your life on hold? And how do you find the confidence to go after all of your dreams? Or maybe you're already on the path to body love, but you're wondering, how do you maintain the strength and confidence? And then how do you put it to use to improve every other aspect of your life? I need to give you another warning. There's no magic. It's not about waving a wand and suddenly feeling all better. It's about using real strategies that have worked for thousands of people in the real world. And now, this isn't just some idea that we just came up with out of the blue. This has been something that we've used effectively over and over again ourselves, and it's been used by thousands of our students and followers who have done these things all over the world. You know, it really comes down to two words. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Stop waiting for a different body to show up and go ahead. Stop waiting to try belly dancing or travel to Paris or try out for that new job you want or try out for that spot in the musical. If you think it will be fun, if you think that it will bring you joy, then just go ahead. 
You know, once I stopped believing that I had to look a certain way, and once I stopped thinking that I had to somehow earn the right to seek the life I want by first meeting some impossible standard of beauty, my life changed forever. I left a career that I liked to do work that I love and that people tell me really makes a difference in their lives. I've spoken to tens of thousands of people around the world from Ivy League colleges to Google headquarters and beyond. I've walked red carpets on both coasts. I've had the opportunity to motivate and inspire people on national and international print, radio, and television news. I've become a national dance champion and a marathoner, and I'm training for my first Ironman. You know, once I stopped waiting around to achieve my perfect body, once I understood that there was no beauty regimen or diet program that would help me achieve some magical state where I could get the life I wanted without stepping out of my comfort zone and taking some risks, everything changed. I raised several million in venture capital for my first business. I've been featured in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and ABC News. I've been interviewed by Dr. Drew and by Katie Couric. And I've walked the red carpet with people like Joss Whedon, Morgan Freeman, and Helen Mirren. When you stop obsessing over looking a certain way and just get on with it, you can experience unbelievable things. You can have a life that is so much better, so much bigger than you ever imagined. When you stop believing that there is one set of conditions you must achieve before you start, when you stop imagining that there is any diet or beauty regime that offers totally safe, risk-free path towards the life of your dreams, then you can start living a life that is better than you ever dreamed possible. For us, our lives are about this, about just imagining what we want and going ahead. And we love what we do. And we're gonna talk to you about our core strategy. But before we do, we want to warn you about two important things that can hold you back as you watch these videos and as you go through your life. These are two non-starters that can stop you dead in your tracks. One of these is the thought, oh, I, I already know that. You may have heard some of these strategies before. You may have heard some of these thoughts before. But that doesn't mean that you've built the strategy to implement them or the stamina to maintain them. We're gonna help you build those two things, so it's worth paying attention. And the other of these things is the, is the thought, yeah, but, yeah, this strategy works for other people, but it won't work for me. Yeah, this strategy helps in this arena, but it won't work in my world in light of the challenges that I face in the face of the forces that are aligned against me. Some of the things we're teaching may seem counterintuitive or even strange. And sometimes to get beyond the obstacles that are in our way, we need to take a different path. We need to go a different way. Jeanette and I want you to know that we are living our amazing lives, doing things that we never thought were possible. But we also want you to know that neither of us started there. In fact, we both came from very humble beginnings. It's hard to imagine coming from further away than I was when I started. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sitting in the kitchen with my husband and I was sobbing inconsolably. I was sobbing because despite the many diets I had tried and the many times I had lost weight, I was still not socially acceptably skinny. And I had been taught by my employers, by my family, by my doctor and society at large that a whole lot of things just aren't available to you unless you're skinny. I couldn't expect to make a lot of money or even have a decent career. I couldn't expect to find nice clothes. I couldn't be famous or a role model or even be in the public eye unless I was very thin. People told me that unless I was thin, I couldn't find a man. Then when I found a man, they said he wouldn't commit. Then when I found a man and married him, they said that he would ultimately leave me for someone thinner. So the Despite the fact that my husband held me and told me I was beautiful and told me he loved me and didn't want to be with anyone else, I didn't really believe him because the world taught me that you can't trust anyone to love you if you're fat. 
Let me go over that again. I had a wonderful, loving husband who supported me, and I couldn't believe that he found me attractive or wanted to stay with me because I didn't look the way the world told me I needed to look. And I tried everything to look that way. I tried the cookie diet, which really wasn't so bad, the hot dog diet, which was awful, and the cabbage soup diet, which caused my husband to helpfully suggest I spend more time um, outdoors. <laughs> the results were always the same. I would lose some weight and I'd get super excited. Then ultimately I would gain back all the weight I lost and often a little bit more. So here's the situation. I believed I couldn't have or keep anything wonderful in my life unless I was very thin. In fact, I believed there was no point in even pursuing anything else that was wonderful in my life until after I became and stayed very thin. And I hadn't been able to become or stay very thin. In fact, I wasn't even able to become and stay noticeably thinner. So I believed that meant I had to give up on having or keeping anything wonderful in my life. This was one of the lowest points in my life, but I had to fix it. There was so much at stake. I wanted to have a good life. I wanted to stay married to the wonderful man I loved so much. So I resolved at that moment that not having a wonderful life was not an acceptable option. I made a promise to myself that my life was going to change. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I just knew I had to find a way. So the next day I went to the library to look for a book, not just any diet book, ah, the perfect one that was gonna make me socially acceptably skinny forever. But a funny thing happened. You know how sometimes you don't get what you ask for, but instead you get exactly what you really need? Well, that happened to me. I thought I had brought home a diet book, but what I had actually brought home from the library was an expose on how the diet industry and the weight loss industry were selling the world a pack of lies when it came to health, happiness, and permanent weight loss. I found out that long-term weight loss happens to only a very small percentage of the population that tries it, somewhere near five to 10%. Let me say that again. Only five to 10% of the people who attempt weight loss were ever able to maintain that weight loss. So if I was basing my whole idea that I could have a successful career and a fulfilling life and a happy marriage on this losing weight and keeping it off business, I was only giving myself a five to 10% chance of ever having those things. And you know what? Those odds suck. I was not willing to live with those odds. And it was at this point I had an amazing idea. What if I decided to just reject the notion that a wonderful life was only possible if I, I was thin? What if when my husband told me I was beautiful and he loved me, I chose to just believe him? What if I stopped waiting around to have an acceptable body and started living my life as if my body were already perfect? What if I just took my life out of this holding pattern I was in, if I thought about what I really wanted and decided to just go ahead and get it? So that's what I did. I decided that a wonderful life was possible for me. I decided that my husband was telling me the truth. I decided I deserved all the awesome things that I ever wanted in my life. I decided to go after all the wonderful things that I wanted in my life right that moment, not after 10 pounds, not after 20 pounds, not after I fit into my skinny jeans. I just decided what I wanted and decided to go ahead and get it right then. The change in my life was unbelievable. Almost instantly I felt happier. Almost instantly my marriage got better. In fact, to this day my husband says he's grateful to the author of that expose book. My career took off in ways that I could barely have imagined. I raised millions of dollars in venture capitals for my business. I became a certified exercise instructor. I wrote a best-selling book called The Fat Chick Works Out. 
and I started working at my dream job as a writer and producer in Hollywood. Of course, that was back a few decades and things were different then. Hardly anybody had even heard of the body love movement or size acceptance. The research about the failure of the diet industry was fairly obscure and kind of new. I didn't have a whole lot of options for support. It was difficult. I started with very small things, but the lesson I learned back then is that everybody begins with small things. And from those small things grow huge, amazingly wonderful things. Nowadays, I think it's much easier. The research on the diet and weight loss industries is much more widespread. There are many more options for support, both online and in person. You just need to get started. I was terrified to make this change. I knew that to have hope was to take a huge risk. What if I took this chance in believing a great life was possible at my current weight and I found out I was wrong? Could I even take it if my hopes were dashed again? But I pushed beyond the fear because I had to take action. I promised myself I would change. So that's when I came up with the idea to go ahead and live my life. And I didn't know it at the time, but that idea would not only change my life, but also sharing that idea with amazing people like my friend and business partner, Reagan Chastain, would begin to change the whole world. I took that first big step. I chose to believe an amazing life was possible and I chose to go ahead and get it. And here's what happened. I started to have an amazing life. I couldn't believe how great it felt. First, I believed it was possible, then I read the research proving it was possible. Then I worked to find a way to love myself the way I was. Then I worked to believe I deserved the things that I wanted. Then I got the guts to take the risk and did the work to go out and get all those things. Then later on, I decided I want some different things in my life. And I decided to go ahead and get them. And I thought, you know what, I can do this again and again. I can keep making goals and I can keep taking risks and getting what I want. You know, I might even get better at it. And the results were magical. It's been a scary, crazy, wonderful, amazing ride. But here's the thing. The most important step was the first one the humble one. It's where I believed a beautiful, amazing life was possible in the body I had right then, because it allowed me to see what I could do. That's why I love teaching this. It's not about luck or hope. It's about having the right tools and the right support to go ahead and get the life you want. You know, that's what's so amazing about Jeanette's story. There's no magic there. Nobody came down from on high and told her she could have the things that she wanted. And nobody came down from a mountaintop to tell me that I was worthy of love and success. I developed the tools to learn that for myself, just as Jeanette developed the tools to learn that for herself. And we've shared these tools with thousands of people via our websites and blogs, classes, radio shows, podcasts, and public appearances. And we have watched as people all over the world stop waiting around and start moving toward what they always dreamed of for themselves. We've watched men and women everywhere stop obsessing over the pounds on the scale and stop stressing about what they think people think about them and instead start really living their lives. You know, rather than continuing to talk about this in the abstract, Let's get into one specific tool that Jeanette and I have used to do this. It's called the Hypothetically Awesome Exercise. Uh, first, just get out some writing implements. It could be your journal and your favorite pen. It could be the PDF that you printed out from this page. It could be one of those giant easel pads and a marker. It could even be just your computer with an empty document. 
just write a paragraph that talks about what you would do if your body were perfect right now. Now, you don't have to believe that your body is perfect. That's totally okay. In this, at this point, just write down how you imagine your life would be different if your body were perfect right now. What would you believe is possible? What would you want? Next, write down what you'd be willing to do to get those things you want. Would you apply for a new job? Would you go back to school? Would you go buy a new wardrobe? Or would you ask someone out on a date? Ask your boss for a raise? What would you be willing to do if your body were perfect right now? Um, and you know, maybe you're not quite ready to believe your body's perfect right now, and that is totally okay. In the next video, we're gonna share some more tools to help you change your mind about how you feel about your body. Uh, for now, we just want you to understand how your feelings of, uh, about your body might be holding you back. This exercise is awesome, but we'd like to add another layer and help you take it up a notch. So go back over that paragraph you just wrote, and everywhere you wrote, if my body were perfect, I would, cross all that out and just write, I will. Now read that paragraph out loud to yourself and feel the power course through your body as you read those positive statements about what you will do. And notice how different it is to speak about what you will do as opposed to what you would do if circumstances were different. Now, in our Body Love Obstacle course, we go over this in a lot more detail. We'll give you the tools to actually take your will-do statements and create a logical, methodical plan of action to help you accomplish them. But we wanted to just give you this beginning exercise as a way to help get you started and get you thinking about these things. This exercise is great for people at a lot of different levels on their own personal body love journeys. Um, wherever you are now, you probably fall into one of these three categories. Uh, in category one, you already believe that you deserve all the wonderful things that life has to offer and you're ready to go get them. If you're in this category, it's awesome to be you. You're ready to take this exercise and just run with it. In category two, you may be convinced that dieting and weight loss haven't worked for you in the past, but you're not yet convinced that you deserve everything the world has to offer, whether you lose weight or not. If you're in that place, that's okay. We can help you work to believe that a fabulous life is waiting for you right around the corner, that you deserve to have it, and we'll help you figure out some steps to go and get it. In category three, maybe you're still hoping that there's a magic diet plan or a weight loss miracle that will change your body size and magically change your life. Even if that's the case, you can still use this program to start making your life better right now. If you fall into any of these three categories though, you're gonna love our next video. It goes into how we can recognize major diet and beauty industry lies and how that impacts our lives. It goes into how we can recognize when we're playing the waiting game and how we can stop waiting for our bodies to be perfect and start working to make our lives awesome immediately. Now, this strategy is especially great for beginners who have never really considered whether the perfect body ideal beauty story being sold to them is even really true or just something that makes profits for other people. And this strategy helps people who already believe they're worthy right now to be on fire and take their lives to the next level right at this very moment. Right now, we want to know a little bit more about you. What would this mean for you? How would this make your life different? How would your family's life be different? Please leave a comment below this video. And if you liked this video, well, we love likes, so we would love it if you click the like button and share it with your friends. You know, when I started out, a lot of people in my life were really skeptical, even my friends and family. If you take nothing else away from this video, know this one thing. The world is changing. The movement towards loving yourself is becoming more powerful and growing. And when you combine it with our strategies, you can make a life that's totally different. So scroll down, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.